This is Fox 40 News at 5. By this time tomorrow, adults in California are going to be able to buy marijuana without a medical card. Already, several Sacramento dispensaries have gotten the green light to sell tomorrow. We've been keeping track of that number, and at last count, it's up to five, but it could increase. In fact, we expect it to as the day goes on. Good evening, I'm Joe Khalil. My co-anchor, Allie Wolf, has the night off. The Fox 40's Doug Johnson joins us live now in Midtown Sacramento. He's been following these developments and how businesses there are getting ready for this boom. Hey, Doug. Joe, this dispensary behind me, All About Wellness, is one of the few that's going to be able to sell recreationally starting tomorrow. It's right across the street from the Safeway in Midtown. Uh, but there are still a lot of medical dispensaries out there that have been in existence for years, and they're still not sure if they're going to be able to open tomorrow or not. This is our cannabis down here. We keep them in these big jars. Philip Blurton is getting his marijuana dispensary, All About Wellness, ready for tomorrow. This is what they call deli style. We will no longer be allowed to do that. Everything's going to have to be prepackaged after July. That's just one of several changes he'll have to make as his medical business is incorporating recreational users. We're going to have it sectioned off where there'll be medical section and recreational section because there's two different, uh, two different types that are going to be available to the public. He's expecting an increase in business, but Blurton admits he's already seen a boom in the past week. They're all trying to save what they feel is going to be a big savings because of the extra expense with the taxes after the first of the year. That uncertainty over the new pot laws has workers at many medical dispensaries saying the past week has been extremely stressful. This is a small family business. We, we were going through lots of things. Donald Davies is the manager at Canacare, a dispensary which is staying medical for now. He says his business didn't get its 2018 permit until Thursday. There are not a lot of state permits handed out. We're seeing more and more, but like as of right now, I only saw 14 medical dispensaries having state permits out of the 30 legal in Sacramento. And Blurton didn't discover he could sell recreational until yesterday. I felt like a little kid on Christmas Eve. Is, it, is Santa Claus coming or not, you know? Today, most dispensary employees are changing out inventory and labels, replacing products that don't meet new state regulations with ones that do. Meanwhile, Blurton wants first-time buyers to keep a few things in mind. Do not medicate or use their product until they get home. We do not want people thinking they can drive around. Yeah, and All About Wellness behind me here is going to be open at 10 a.m. tomorrow, but we're told there's some dispensaries that plan to open as early as 6 o'clock here in Sacramento, and the owner of this business tells us he does expect an increase in business. He's just not sure how much of an increase he's going to see. Reporting live in Midtown tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. It is going to be an interesting day, Doug. Thank you.